Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a chit chat uh, while we collect some seeds. I have some dried noodle beans here as well as some dried rattlesnake beans. So I figure I could show it on a video while we chit chat. So you wanna break it open like this. And slowly, it open. There are all the seeds in there and we just want to pull these guys out just like that and collect them for next year. Recently I made a post on Instagram about how this handful, I'll put it up on the screen, this handful of beans would turn into um, a dozen plants and then turn into tons and tons of food and it really just got me thinking about the fact that like so many people don't grow a garden and that's okay like whatever suits your fancy but the fact is is that we don't realize how broken our food system is to the point where i grow things and of course there is no judgment when people ask questions but people don't know where beans come from um the fact that they grow on some grow on vines and some grow in bush form not known to a lot of people. I'm going to show these beans while we chit chat. But I find it also very difficult that the food system has failed us so horribly that we don't even know where our own food comes from. We don't know how it grows. And the biggest thing is, is that next year, this one little seed that you see right here is going to grow me tons of food. And if you had asked me this 10 years ago, I probably would have looked at you as if you had seven heads. But it's true, this one tiny little seed will grow me pounds and pounds of food. And I think that's where people get out of touch with their food system. I'm no exception. I'm learning as I go and I didn't know all this stuff right off the bat learning how to be self-sustainable and how to grow my own food and regenerate food from from seeds it's not one of those things that's like super difficult but it is one of those things where you continuously learn new things i think this year i really realized that this little backyard garden is not big enough for our dreams as a family because realistically I can grow so much in this green stock behind me, in the raised beds behind the camera. I have bigger dreams. And I'm going to get vulnerable on here because you guys really appreciate that. And so I dream of this farm filled with family, gardens, animals, and laughter, tons and tons of food all the time, where I don't have to go to a store to pick up my next meal, that I can just go into my backyard and pick a handful of beans and make a meal. I dream of writing a book one day, doing a course and teaching people and giving you guys everything that I know on top of you know, getting to speak to some of the world's greatest gardeners. And it's crazy because we all overestimate what we can do in five years, but we underestimate what we can do in 10. And I know for sure now, I wasn't meant to just be a gardener. I want to make sure that I inspire people, share, teach people everything that I know. But let's get back on topic. This handful of beans, will be tons and tons of food. I could fill an, an eight by 10 trellis and just get tons and tons of food. I just wanna come on here and say that a handful of beans can turn into a dozen plants that will turn into tons and tons and tons of food that you can eat all year round. So this is the amount of beans that we got from shelling all of those beans. As long as you keep these in a cool, dark place where they're not going to have any moisture, then you'll be able to grow a garden full of beans for years to come. 
If you like this video, make sure to check out these videos right here.